फोर्टींथ जुलय टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी वन मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांती बाबदादा मधुबन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन इट इज द टास्क ऑफ द वन फादर अलोन टू गिव पीस टू द होल वर्ल्ड एंड द सिस्फाई पीपल सी ओ बेस्टवर ऑफ पीस देर फोर इट इज द फादर हु शुड रिसीव द प्राइज क्वेश्चन विच चिल्ड्रन कैन फॉलो द फादर फुल्ली आंसर The children who became as pure as the father can follow him fully. Those who became true lovers can follow me, the beloved. Only such lovers do I take part with me. It is poetry in the scriptures that you can go across by holding on to the tail of a cow. However, there is no question here of a cow or a cow's tail. song you are the ocean of love we thirst for one drop om shanti here there are both bab and dada your children now know that the father of souls is shababa you know he is the purifier and he is incorporeal you do are incorporeal embodiments of peace the incorporeal father is an embodiment of peace and souls two are embodiments of peace the original religion of souls is peace your residence is the land of peace when they create a sacrificial fire they call out to the bestower of peace because god is the ocean of peace it is the father who gives peace to the whole world there are many who receive peace prizes when someone receives a prize they say he became instrumental in establishing peace they mention the names of great people however peace is required throughout the whole world otherwise those who remain peaceless make others peaceless this is the kingdom of ravan ravan is the enemy whereas ram is not called an enemy people never burn an effigy of ram neither the ram of the silver age not the supreme father the supreme soul everyone wants there to be the kingdom of ram but no one knows what the kingdom of ram is they simply say there should be a new world and there should be the kingdom of ram in new delhi the speak of new delhi it has been given many names delhi is the capital and it was the land of angels radhe and krishna are also shown to exist there the two of them are the main prince and princess there aren't just the two of them there must definitely be others too a dynasty of eight is remembered you have to use your intellects for everything there must be other dynasties too in the golden age look how many dynasties there are here these dynasties keep growing until there are many one even hears of a maharaja of such and such a village there are so many small villages there aren't so many in the golden age there the names of lakshmi and narayan are very well known their kingdom continued for 2500 years people say it existed hundreds of thousands of years ago this is something to think about this is food for souls the father gives spiritual food to you souls to your intellects the locks on your intellects have now opened rishis and munis etc all say that they don't know the creator or creation you children do not say this now you know the creator and the beginning middle and end of creation you now know your cycle of 84 births in the beginning you were deities and then in the middle when ravan came into existence you became vicious it is now the end you know that there will be the destruction of the old world and there will then be the beginning in the beginning there will be the kingdom of ram then the kingdom of ravan begins in the middle the kingdom of ravan is now to end and the kingdom of ram will begin you have to change from an ordinary human into narayan 
This is the story of the true Narayan. You know that the Srimad Gita is the main jewel of all the scriptures. You receive Srimad in order to become elevated. Those who are elevated are called Shri. Your children know it is only the Gita scripture that is called the religious scripture of the deity religion. It is through this that the deity religion is established at the confluence age. None of them in golden age are impure that someone would have to come and purify them. The father now explains to you, the Gita cannot be called the purifier. You cannot become pure through the Gita. The God of the Gita is called the purifier. Remember this very well. The Gita is the scripture of the original eternal deity religion. The Mahabharat war in which innumerable religions were destroyed and the one religion established took place at the time of the episode of the Gita. They say that the Gita is the scripture of the deity religion. It is not called the scripture of Brahmins. There is no mention of Brahmins in the Gita. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul comes and tells you this essence of the Vedas and scriptures through Brahma. You now understand that there are no Brahmins in the Golden Age. Lakshmi and Narayan and the deities exist there. After Brahma, there is Vishnu. In the pictures, it is portrayed that the land of Vishnu is established through Brahma. Brahma and Vishnu don't exist at the same time. The deity religion is established through Brahma. These matters have to be understood in detail. Your children are now receiving your inheritance of heaven from Shubhaba. You are those who have a right to it. There are four main religious scriptures. The Srimad Bhagavad Gita is the number one religious scripture through which the number one religion is established. Then there are those of Islam and the Buddhist. Only in the Gita is it written Srimad Bhagavad Gita. None of the other scriptures mention Srimad. There isn't a scripture remembered as Srimad Islam or Srimad Buddhist. There is only one Srimad Bhagavad Gita which religion was established through it. The original eternal deity religion was established. Establishment took place at the end. This is something that has to be understood. Baba is now teaching us as the teacher. This should remain in your intellects. Baba is our father and also our teacher. Baba grants salvation to everyone through the study. And he is therefore also the Sadguru. Everyone remembers the father. They have put Krishna's name in the Gita. He is not an ocean of knowledge. The father, the ocean of knowledge, made him become like that. And so, he is also the teacher. You listen to new things here. You have been listening to and reading many scriptures, etc. You are now listening directly to the father. Previously, you were listening to bodily beings. You souls now understand that you were originally bodiless and you then adopted bodies. Baba is also bodiless. People create a shivlinga. Souls worship him through their bodies. You call out, O oh, Supreme Father, Supreme Soul, come and purify us impure ones. They worship a lingam, but they don't understand that he is the purifier father, the one they have been calling out to. Shiv is God. He is Ishwar, means God. They continue to remember him in this way. When you call him Baba, it enters your intellect that you will receive the inheritance from the Father. We did receive the inheritance. For this is why we worship him. The people of Bharat definitely received the inheritance. It is just that they have forgotten when they received it. Your children now understand this. Your children say to Baba that you have come to him. Shri Baba enters the body of Brahma and explains to you. The name Trimurti is very well known. They have the name Trimurti Road. 
there is a lot of praise of the father you also heard in the song that he is the ocean of love that he is the bestower of salvation for all he is the one who gives peace and happiness to everyone he is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness to all he is very lovely there is no one as lovely as he is the father who makes you into the masters of heaven would definitely be lovely he is the unlimited father he says children you receive the sovereignty of heaven from me you souls are brothers you are now listening to the father all souls remember the father baba come and purify us soul say baba has come to purify us he says children i came to purify you 5000 years ago now remember me your father and all your sins will be absolved and all your sorrow will be removed people call out oh purifier come they continue to clap and cry out loudly purifier ram who belongs to sita therefore this means they are impure this is hell it is called the extreme depths of hell in the garud purana they have written many fear some stories about what you will become by doing such and such they then say you can go to heaven by holding on to a cow's tail something like that has been written in it there is no question of animals you mothers are those cows until someone catches hold of you are tell that is you are back they cannot find the path you don't have tells they say we will go across by holding on to your tell you do not hold on to anyone's tell here but you do have to follow sanyasis have many followers but to follow means to become pure you are true follower shri baba says i have come to take all of you back home remember me and your sins will be burnt without becoming pure you cannot follow follow shri baba fully you are sitting here in order to follow him you have been remembering me on the path of devotion you know that souls are lovers of the supreme soul the beloved all souls remember him and he has come to take you back he says follow me and i will take you back with me he also explains how you have to follow him i am pure and you are impure and you definitely have to become pure you definitely have to follow him those who are vicious cannot follow him in order to follow me you have to become as pure as i am would i take impure ones back to the land of peace with me so many human beings perform devotion do tapasya or make donations and perform charity in order to receive liberation this is because they experience sorrow here and want to return home the father says you definitely do have to become pure i am pure and this is why i purify you i enter the body of brahma i am the creator and i enter the body of this brahma it is portrayed that the father establishes the deity religion through brahma you are brahma kumars and kumaris you know you have to follow shri baba the father says remember me and i promise you that i will take you to the pure world there is no other way when they say oh purifier the region either goes upwards or they look at water the ganges is not the purifier that is just a river that has emerged from the ocean it is your tell that they should hold on to the father says you have to become pure and follow me for only then will you be able to go back with me the father says you used to reside with me and then you went around the cycle of 84 births and have now become impure now remember me once again and you will become pure sanya sisters householders if you want to follow me renounce your home and family the father says i reside in the supreme abode will you also go back there 
with me or do you prefer to stay here in the ocean of poison you have been calling out oh purifier come the father has now come and will take you back with him i come every cycle and take you back with me then in the golden age you remain very happy lakshmi and narayan were the masters of heaven who gave them so much happiness heavenly god the father the father reminds you you celebrate my birthday all the people of bharat celebrate the birthday of the supreme father the supreme soul this is my birthplace christians do not accept this they only believe in christ the people of bharat celebrate the birthday of shiv this is the birthplace of the father the purifier of all the father grants happiness to everyone he is the one who liberates everyone therefore bharat is so elevated the father knows that according to the drama when all my children have become unhappy i come and give them their inheritance the father is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of happiness he is giving you children your inheritance he says follow me you souls know you are vicious and this is why your bodies are also vicious you souls are pure in the golden age and so you receive pure bodies too the father now says children became pure it is only by having remembrance that you will become satapradhan from tamapradhan acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father baptada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point in order to claim the inheritance of heaven from the father make it firm that all of you souls are brothers live with one another with a lot of love just as the father is the loveliest of all so you too have to become just as lovely second point become as pure as the father is and follow him completely in order to go back home to the land of peace with the father you must definitely become pure blessing may you stay away from the rubbish of maya on the basis of having remembrance and became constantly cheerful explanation no matter what type of situations comes in front of you just leave it to the father say from your heart baba and the situation will finish to say the word baba from your heart is magic maya first of all makes you forget the father and so simply pay attention to this aspect and you will experience yourself to be like a lotus on the basis of having remembrance you will remain constantly beyond the rubbish of the situations of maya you will never come into upheaval about anything and will constantly have one type of mood cheerful slogan those who imbibe the religion of purity in their lives are great souls om shanti